So let's create yesterday program again. You're creating an account class. I'm going to ask one question again. Please be active. This is account class. Nothing but parent. Public void display method. So saying it as like. Oh. So if you test this, you will get this value without any doubt. Now, account is there. One more class. Let's try to create saving account. Same thing, I'm doing it again and again. I want to reuse this means there comes the inheritance concept. So what we have to do? Extends account class. If you want to use that, it here means creating the object for the same. OBJ dot display. So this is what we learned yesterday in the inheritance. So account class is executed. <coughs> it is from the parent class. Then few minutes before I said, I want to have my own implementation. This one. Overriding. So account class. Overriding concept just now we saw. Saving account class, child, saving account class, executor, child. Now, if we execute, saving account class is executed. Overriding is happened. Sometimes I, while executing, already overriding is implemented. This is overriding, right? Just now we saw overriding is implemented. But I don't want this method to execute. I want to execute this method only. Has everyone understood my what I my requirement? Everyone overriding implemented. Can you repeat again your requirement? Everyone please. understood what is the meaning of overriding? First, overriding yes. means thus. Uh, the parent method will be replaced by the child method. That is overriding. The code is already implemented. Now, uh, if you execute this, this will execute only the child method. But I don't want to execute child. I want to execute parent. After implementing the override means, then how to do it is by using the super keyword. Now, I'll show you how it can be done. So here also display there. Here also display there. So I want to differentiate. So let me try. Public Y show method. One more method. Here I am calling display method. So instructs this. Now, which one it will call? Sorry, not display. Show. Same code. This will call this one. Now, this display will call whether this one or this one. Nothing is implemented. Again, it will, overriding will only will work. But I don't want that to happen. I want to use all these parent. So for that, what you have to do is now implementing so keyword. See the difference. If you mention super in front of a variable, variable is name. The name, it's in child, it's in parent. But if you mention in front of a variable as super means 
that is referring to your parent that is simple same way let me execute and see see the first output this variable is saving account next time when i mentioned super dot that variable it is getting the value from the parent so if you want to refer anything either variable or method then you have to use super here also display it is in the parent and also child but i want to execute only the parent one i will mention super dot display now let me command this and execute super is mentioned before that method display method here also one method there same method there now overriding will not happen it will refer to the parent class so in simple in terms of interview if you mention super keyword means refer immediate parent class either it's an instance variable or a method or a constructor constructor i didn't show it i just showed with these two example instance variable instance variable means just now we saw here also name is declared here also name is declared usually overriding will happen but when i mention in front of a variable as super means that is referring to the parent one same way invoke immediate parent class method same method is here here but still i want to execute parent method means then i am calling it with super dot display so when super comes remember that refers to the immediate parent either it's variable method or constructor so that's about the super keyword